Hey, it's your boy Nopal Castellanos. And I wanted to talk about the franchise belt that they just upgraded Canelo with. As far as that's concerned, um, you know, I'm, I feel like everybody else. I, you know, I, I think that's the stupidest thing they could have called it. Now, the whole purpose of this thing is because they recognize that Canelo's doing a lot in boxing and, you know, they want to give him the opportunity to fight whoever he wants, you know. Kind of the way they 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 um, allowed Floyd to basically fight whoever that he wanted. But the difference here is that, uh, you know, we all know that Canelo is the type of fighter that if you pressure him and, and if, he, if the media starts saying, oh, well, you're scared of this guy, he's going to fight him with a span of about uh, maybe a year and a half at the most, you know, so he's not going to make the fans wait that long, so in my opinion, I do agree that they should, that, that it was justifiable that they gave him a certain distinction among other fighters, because who, let's just be real, who else is doing, who else is fighting uh, dangerous fighters like that, you know what I mean? It's rumored that he's going to fight Sergey Kovalev, which a lot of people now are, are trying to flip-flop and say that he's not dangerous, but Man, have you ever seen that long jab that he that he shoots to the body and, you know, his jab? We all know that Canelo has a, a problem with the jab so from taller opponents. So, I mean, that's a very dangerous fight. So, you know what I mean? And I wouldn't I wouldn't uh doubt it if Canelo is would be the odds would be against him winning that fight because it's just a, a very difficult fight for him. But I mean, what I'm what I'm saying is that uh basically I I'm, I agree with the fact that they they um that they put a special distinction between Canelo and Jamel Charlo. What I don't agree with is them giving him his belt, which you know put up put us kind of like they haven't clarified whether Canelo can still unify, and you know what I mean. I I would I would really appreciate it if somebody clarified this, and you know I guess it's it's a moment of time. That's why I didn't want to really talk about this because. It hasn't been clarified whether he can still unify, you know. And uh, this just basically, this this just shows you how advanced Canelo was two years ago. When he said the belts didn't really mean shit, you know what I mean? It's really about who you fight. Because these governing organizations are going to do whatever the fuck they want. So, my my question is, why the fuck are you people trying to blame Canelo for this? This isn't like he's the one that called him up and said, oh, I don't want to fight Charlo. So you guys got to make sure I don't fight Charlo. You guys just saw how fucking much trouble he had with that little ass welterweight. I don't even remember what his name is, but Adams, it was his last name. But you guys all saw what kind of trouble he ran into, not to mention his, his other fight with Matt Korobov. Do you guys really think that... Uh, that Charlo would last six rounds with Canelo? No. The reason Canelo don't want to fight him is because Al Heyman wants to take a big ass piece of the purse, which Canelo's purse is already negotiated. So he's getting paid already 35 million per fight, but these fools are gonna wanna dig into that budget. So it's not, it, it's really up to the, the zone. If they if they're willing to make this fight, then you know it's not really up to Canelo. So, you know, and we all know he ain't fucking ducking him. You know, it, uh, I'm pretty sure he. You know, you guys all understand that. And another thing I want to talk about is uh, this is gonna lead me to another point that I want to mention is Canelo just had a had, uh, there was an article that came out and it was uh, about why the triple g trilogy isn't going on and the main reason for the trilogy not going on is because this is what it all comes down to a lot of you guys don't have the fucking common sense this is what it really comes down to the article kind of breaks it down in it in, in it and it spits information here and there about what shit that you know if you're smart enough you can decipher decipher this on your own this is what it all comes down to. When Canelo got hired, he got hired on the strength of his resume alone and his trajectory, 
not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but his his record in this trajectory, you know, his whole resume, man, speaks volumes. So he got paid on what he did alone. He didn't get paid on what on uh, based on the strength of somebody else's uh, fights or uh, you know whatever. He got hired by himself, by his own damn self, and you know they paid him that money because of what he did and what you know the potential that he has in making money versus other opponents and different other opponents because there's about 20 to 30 fi super fights that Canelo can you know generate that, that Canelo alone can make you know if they were to uh if they were to put them against other people so so basically what I'm trying to say is that that's very different from the fact of Triple G. When Triple G got hired, he only got hired on the strength of of a potential trilogy with versus Canelo. So, you know, the zone was thinking, okay, well, you know, you know, we we got a hundred million left over that we could have gave Canelo, you know, but they didn't negotiate enough. So here goes the leftover money, Triple G. And, you know, we're, you understand that we're only hiring you because we want you to fight Canelo. So whatever you got to do to get Canelo in the ring, that's how you're going to get paid. So that's what I'm trying to say is when Canelo got hired, there was no obligation whatsoever to fight Triple G. No obligation because there was no Triple G. Triple G didn't sign for another six to six months, maybe later. So that's the difference is Triple G has the obligation to fight Canelo, but Canelo has no damn obligation to fight Triple G. Canelo can fight Rod Salka for $35 million if he wanted to. You know, of course, the sanctioning body would have to approve that. Um, you know, I'm just basically putting out an example that would never happen because Canelo don't fight those kind of opponents. Up to this day, he doesn't fight those type of opponents. Maybe someday he will. You know, easy ass knockout opponents, but um, that's basically. I mean, I know I touched on a, a, some different subjects, and you know, um, you know, going back to the franchise belt thing is one thing I uh, I, I I read on boxing scene is uh, they asked Bob Arum how he feels about this, and the motherfucker agreed with it. But get this, he agreed with it because he said, okay, we got champions like Deontay Wilder out of all fucking people. He said that he feels that he agreed with it because Deontay Wilder and Vasily Lomachenko also, he feels like they deserve to be franchise champions also. God damn that, man, I must have had a laugh for about three to six minutes, but you know what I mean? Um... We do know that Mauricio Suleiman, the so-called uh, president of the WBC, which, you know what I mean? If you're smart, you know that he's not really the one pulling the strings because he wouldn't be so fucking gullible and, you know, basically so transparent and so fucking stupid. He would, you know, if he was really the man pulling the strings, he wouldn't. It, it, it's really somebody else, you know what I mean, who's in charge. Because, what, and what I was trying to say is that uh, Mauricio Suleiman is a guy that's serving two masters right now. His one master is Canelo, and his other master is uh, is basically um, Al Heyman. So, you know, it's a slippery rope that he has to go through. He's he's right now he's got to make sure that he doesn't. Uh, burn his bridges with either one so he's got to basically ne negotiate it right down the middle as we all know i mean deontay wilder has been the most protected champion out of the whole division i mean he dillian white how long ta has he been waiting three years to fight he's been the mandatory for three years and they haven't done shit about that you know what i mean and um i mean you see all his the mandatories that uh deontay wilder fought they were fucking nobodies and you know so you know, a lot of people want to say that uh, WBC is over there protecting the Mexican champs. No, he hasn't fucking protected the Mexican champs. This is the second fucking time they do this kind of bullshit to Canelo. And, you know, uh, 
this is you guys don't fucking realize Canelo has uh, gotten that belt twice and they try to pull some bullshit so he had to let it go and uh, but it's it all goes back to what Canelo said fucking five I don't know how long it was three years ago he said the belts don't mean shit it's all about who you fight so you know that's my thought on that I I I dislike the idea that they created this belt because it makes somebody look like a paper champ in my opinion the paper champ right now is charlo because i mean who did he who, who the fuck did charlo beat to get this belt who did he fucking beat nobody fuck but you know the difference is who did canelo beat to have this belt twice he beat Cotto, who's a hall of famer and he also beat triple g and you know what I mean? <laughs> he did all this fucking work and then now they're going to fucking try to make up some franchise belt, which we don't know if he can unify with that belt or, you know, we're hoping that that's the real deal belt, you know, and that the uh, regular WBC belt now has been uh, downgraded to, you know, the, the, you know, the other version of the belt, which doesn't mean shit. You know, that's what we're hoping and what I'm trying to say is, uh, basically, you know, we, we don't have no control over what the WBC does. I mean, you know, um, we don't got no control over that. And I'm sure Canelo doesn't have control over those people. Because, like I said, even Mauricio Suleiman, he's just a puppet, bro. He's not the guy call, calling the shots. He's not the guy making the decisions. He's just a fucking puppet. Some guy hired to make the shit look pretty. You know what I mean? And he's, uh, uh, you know what I mean? I mean, I don't know if you guys, I don't want to go into some other shit, but I don't know if you guys noticed this, but I know he was saying something about he was receiving death threats for, you know, this and that. You know, people call him fat and shit like that, and all of a sudden the motherfucker lost weight. So that just tells you how how his mentality works. He's he's not He's not the guy that calls the shots at the WBC. He's not. So, you know, there goes that argument, you know. There's some other shit I wanted to talk about, you know, a little more personal. And, uh, you know, I'm going to save it for another video. I'm not sure if I'm going to drop that today. Maybe I am. Maybe I won't. You know, I got some other shit to do. Anyways, it's your boy Nopal Castellanos in the house.